Salutations, Wet Shaver Spencer here for an edge test. Uh, I'm going to be trying out one from Russ. This is on an electric razor. Now, this blade's actually quite small, so hopefully it works really well, but it's on a new translucent black Arkansas. So, Russell said this thing pops hairs really, really well. So, fingers crossed it works for me. I'm going to be using software that I've only recently gotten. I haven't used it yet, but I've used the soap base, so I know it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And that is LNL Grooming in Chatillon Lux Champs de Levand. This is a dark, spicy lavender. It's similar, <coughs> excuse me, similar to face fat lavender, which is just a pure, um, just pure lavender. There's a, I, th I think there's some spices or something going on in the background. Spices work really well with um, with lavender. Adds a real nice punch, and I've got the aftershave for it too. Champs de lavande. I'm trading this for a Eufros tobacco set, which I may use just before I let go of it. So, because I, I, I want to remember how it feels. <laughs> All right, brush today. Raven brush works. Amazing brush. Now I may be able to record another shave in the next two day, two nights. Um, I'll see how I go, but I think I should be able to. I'll be out at the um, Q1, which is one of the tallest buildings in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, it's here in Australia on the Gold Coast. So I'll be staying there with Courtney for two nights, which would be awesome. Plenty of drinking, plenty of eating, good stuff. All right. So, I think that's it. Let's get ready to load and go. I have the Rock Nail Sailor sitting here in case, but I think this should be pretty good. Now this doesn't need a big load, even though this is a nice, um, thirsty bore brush. Um, this soap is really soft, so I don't want to load in too much. So that's good there. Should be enough. If it's not, I'll just go back to the pack. Not something that bothers me. I've um, taken the hot towel to the face. I'm feeling like hot water shaves really, really complement a straight razor shave. I didn't notice a difference. In fact, I actually preferred cold water shaves with DEs. But I'm finding hot water works better with straights. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Maybe it's a mix of the straights that I've used, or the, even the soap. Definitely still needs a lot more water. Mm. So yeah, if you haven't seen, I've just finished unboxing eight straight razors that I got from Go on the Pacing Cut Forum, Stilzy. Just gotten into the straight razor game and I'm addicted. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> All righty. Feel like I can. It can take a little bit more water. L&L Grooming have a really, really nice, or Declaration Grooming now, have a really nice soap base. The new Icarus soap base is probably the best I've ever used. This brush is breaking them real nice. So I'm not sure if anyone else even uses these knots that I know of. Because these are all hand tied and um, hand sanitized as well, so they come with zero funk. Now, I haven't had many really bad ones with bores, but I've had a couple and they are terrible. So it's really nice to have one that has none at all. Just make sure this is up. Yeah, no, that's fine. Cool. All right, straight razor time. I haven't done anything to this, I haven't stropped it or nothing. So we'll see how it goes in the shave. <sighs> Try.
Translucent Black Arkansas. It's definitely sharper than that other one that I had, the um, Black Arkansas. I think this is definitely a really good edge, but what I think is I need a bigger blade for it. It's got the sharpness is there, but it needs the weight behind it to help pull it down. But yeah, that, that's quite a nice edge. That feels. That feels good. I'm actually really happy with this. Cool. <laughs> It's beautiful scales too, how cool is that? It's like, reminds me of Tiger Camo on um, Call of Duty. <laughs> Any Call of Duty fans out there? Probably not. There's like a touch of resistance, but I really think on the heavier blade that would really help it. Two days growth by the way. I'm a big fan of lavender. If you guys want tips on lavender, set, lavender scents, hit up Manny over at SoCal Shave. He loves his lavender. Definitely helped remind me of how, and how good they are. And that's part of the reason why I got this set. So thank you, Manny, if you're watching this, man. Now, as I do, paint on. I don't work in the leather. Don't need to. There's no hair on your face, really, after the first pass. Not enough to warrant a ladder. Like a big, thick one. Clean out the sink. <coughs> Sip of coffee. All right. Let's go to the nose. Actually, no. Let's go to the... Um, ah. All right, I'm gonna try something different. So that there is across the grain. And this here is across the grain. Cool, that worked. All right. All right, this is the best edge that I've used. 
it feels really nice. With straights, there's always that little bit of resistance on the first pass, um, but it goes away on the second and third. Cool. That wasn't resistance on the um, on the lip. That's me trying to get my technique because I normally just go with the grain. Because I, I don't get a lot on my um, on here or here. I get it all here underneath the chin and all down on my neck. Three passes straight down on the neck. Gets me DFS. <laughs> it's pretty good. Because it's across grain along the bottom of my neck. Russell, this edge is incredible. I really like this. I think on the bigger, on the bigger bits of steel. Yeah, on the bigger bits of steel, this thing is going to be incredible. Nice stuff. Oh. Well, that's the closest I've been after two passes with a straight. Now, I don't want... Um, like, it could be also technique... That's improving, that's making me feel a like lot closer after two passes, but that edge feels incredible. Not a lot of ladder left in this brush, but I'm gonna roll with it anyway. Just to sort of show you guys that you don't really need a big fat ladder. Cool. Cross grain again. But first, coffee. Awesome. So yeah, people are asking me now, when's the custom coming in? I haven't got a custom yet. I've got some planned, but haven't got any yet. That just glides so well. I've got to keep remembering I can't be such an open edge like a, like I do with the Shavet. That is across grain, um, sorry, against the grain here. And that's the densest part of my face, so it's generally where I get most irritation or most struggles. I need to concentrate on more stretching, which I've sort of been failing to do lately. <coughs> Just not used to it. Beautiful. Oh yeah, definitely DFS and on its way to BBS. Once I get straight up strokes down, 
I think that'll be prime time. <laughs> Sweet. What a razor, the electric. Sorry guys, I'm an electric razor shaver now. <laughs> Warm water rinse, and then I'll move on to cold afterwards. Squeeze that out, nice and drippy. The way we like it. 15 minutes for three parts, not bad. All right. Cold water splash. No nicks or cuts or anything on this one. Wow. Such a small blade, man. That mowed down the hair really well. I'm just thinking with all those eight straights, whether I should just get all one edge or maybe like four of each, sort of depending. Maybe the thinner blades get like an onyx edge or something, which is a little bit sharper apparently. Um, and then all the bigger blades just get the translucent black because that worked. I don't know. So Russell, I'll be hitting you up, mate. <laughs> Champs of Lavand or Lavender Splash. Apparently these splashes stay on for a long time. The resistor's really small, so maybe I put on way too much. Ooh. Oh, wow. That almost smells there's some wintergreen in there. Oh, menthol. Is there menthol in this? Alcohol, rah, 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 cat's claw bark extract, glycerin, menthol and fragrance, yes! Oh, that feels really nice and feels very hydrated. I'll do the Chris test. <laughs> wow, oh my god. Oh, that's really good stuff. <laughs> wow. I've got Yuzu Rose Patchouli, but I don't have the um, soap for it, so if anyone wants it and wants to trade, I'm not doing any purchases for a long time. Um, I'll do trades though. Wow. Champs de Vivan. That has to probably be the best straight razor shave I've had. Electric razor. It's with a razor that I didn't think would work for me because it's a smaller blade. I do feel like I need a bigger blade. That worked really well. Um, Gorgeous Raven Brush Works brush. This thing's breaking in really well. This is in Osage Orange. Killer, killer grain on it. Beautiful. Reminds me of like um, the tops on some acoustic guitars I've seen. Where you almost get that flame maple almost in this. Have uh, you ever seen flame maple tops? Uh, beautiful stripes, yeah. Nice. The knot's breaking in quite well. It does take a while for me, if you're not going to use fridge technique or anything. I'm just doing it through use, which is what I'm, I think I'll try and stick to from now on. This is, it's fun to break in a brush. And this handle, in pictures, I didn't like. But now in person, it's phenomenal. Absolutely awesome. Almost looks steampunky to me, and I love steampunk sort of styles. Gorgeous Raven brush works. Awesome, hit him up if you want anything. Oh, sweet. Anyway guys, that was a shave. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys take care, stay safe, stay positive, keep smiling. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.